is what they do. Try to run in Europe, but can see the way they slow. And if we get in trouble, then we know we have to dash. We have to get it back to Paris. Now we suck here. This is Mr. Birch. He was challenging all week. But his Birchy bus can challenge. He was very ready. With his singing for the yes. end. He would never make a fuss. I'll tell you what. Good morning, everyone. Butch, your timing <laughs> could not be better. <laughs> it's day two. It's morning. 10.15 to be precise. So the plan for today is eat breakfast, busk, come back, dump stuff, go back, actually look at burn for a bit. Leiden is having some valve issues. Uh, if you remember the last time this happened, it was uh, Amsterdam two years ago, um, which sort of gives you an idea of how cold it is. The valves have uh, frozen, uh, and we're just currently trying to fix them. We've been playing for about 20 minutes now. Uh, it's just really cold. That's the only thing I can say at the moment. Virtue chose this place to play. Tones have just finished their first busk in Bern. Mr. Lydon packing away his somewhat temperamental tuba today due to the cold. Valves free freezing up all over the place. My slide froze up, but the trumpets, reliable as ever. Yeah, the no. nice, the nice policemen. Yes. They were friendly. You we had policemen who tried to move us on, as we always do. Matt managed to use his sweet, manly charm. I even made them laugh. They said uh, we could busk. Groups of two without a license, so I asked if we could but play then, on two sides of the road. But then and they, they laughed said, and said, oh, 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 you're so funny. <laughs> but they, they actually said, uh, but if you tickle a police officer again, <laughs> that's a I will have to hit you with my nightstick. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are we going to do now, Rob? What, what do you want to do now? Right now, okay, we're going to go and find something to eat uh, yeah. and basically just get inside just to warm up a bit. Uh, and then we're going to go back to the flash, play an extra bit for the parking, park and ride. And then we're going to come back in a bit later and busk after five o'clock because uh, that's what the council or policeman said that we were allowed to do. So we're going to go warm up. Welcome to episode one of the Birchie and Matt show. Today, Matt discovers his hands. 
Whoa, look at those. What can you do with those, Matt? Oh, you missed, you missed your eye. <laughs> if you can't tell already, we're bored. Who is this busker? It's Betty! I wish it was Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Betty and I have been left on our own as Rob and Lyden have gone back to the Flash. And uh, we're just having a look around the bird. It's really nice, very pretty. Yeah, it looks like the astrological clock from Prague. That's it, astrological logic. There you go, look. Wouldn't it pretty? Good evening, and welcome to Bird. They seem to be busker friendly in Bird. As long as there's only two of you, of course. Do we like Bern? Bern can stay. Out of ten? Out of ten? Ooh. Depends what for. For buskers? Eight? Generally? Eight. Generally, I quite like Switzerland. It's expensive. But Switzerland? Eight as well. Come to Bern. It's nice. As it's legal to busk in pairs before five o'clock, Birch and I spent some time raising our petrol funds. After Rob and Lydon returned, we began our busking marathon. It's our first break of the night, and Rob learns the hard way how to use his hand warmer. <laughs> Rob, what just happened? I was trying to click it. Can you eat my sandwich? It's covered in stuff. <laughs> Sorry. No. No. Oh my God! Rob had one of these. <laughs> Rob, Rob had one of these. And you oh meant to, you meant to just go up to the disc <laughs> and just snap oh it, snap it, like and that, then it yeah. keeps your hands warm. And Rob was saying, "How do I do it?" I said, "Snap it." Bang! <laughs> <laughs> and it explodes over Leiden. Oh no! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> It says here, and in my mouth, I think. <laughs> Locate metal disc and bend with fingers until you feel a click, like this. <laughs> Thump violently over your oldest friend. <laughs> and then this one, the next three years apologising. Because that's what it's going to be. Okay. If gel comes in contact with skin, wash with warm water immediately. Is it going on the face? I'm going anywhere. Do like not this. allow gel to enter the eyes. If gel enters the eyes, consult a mortician. A mortician? <laughs> <laughs> Can I record my last one in the test, please? Go on then. Robert has allowed everything. Oh. By everything, I mean this coat and this glove. <laughs> <laughs> and this sandwich. And this sandwich, yeah. You can have this bit of sandwich which is covered in whatever this chemical is. And this little bit of trouser here. <laughs> and his shoe. Oh, oh no! The shoe! <laughs> I've only bought one pair of trousers and only one coat, oddly enough. <laughs> I was just going to say, the other one with no clothes. We are thinking of heading straight back to El Flashio and move on to our next place, Genoa. Burn, you've been good. You can stay. Say the quarter time. lift her up. <laughs> After completing a successful busking escapade in Bern, we are now off to buy a warm drink to thaw our frozen digits. I personally have lost all feeling in my fingers, all ten of my toes, and I'm looking forward to having a hot chocolate. Uh, has this been our most successful foreign cities in terms of monetary gain from amount of like, busking time? I think so. Not sure, you know. Not sure. Uh, Paris. I mean, Paris was. Paris, Paris was good. Yeah. And we did. How long did we plan to play for now and a quarter then? So today, we've actually earned. I have no idea what I was just doing then. It's dramatic. <laughs> Domestic violence, not funny. Oh, good. Hi, Rob. How you doing, mate? I'm good, mate. How are you? Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm 
feel, I'm feeling this filming when I'm up here, it's alright there. You enjoying it? You get to boss people around a little bit. Yeah, I suppose you do a little bit. Rock, did you just lower your head? Yeah, it was better where it was. We thought, let's just check uh, on the Tom Tom and see how long it takes to get to Genoa. With toll roads, it said five hours. Without toll roads, it says nine hours. Roughly the same mile, it's 270 miles. So. Um, but either five hours or nine hours. Uh, and then we thought we'd look at Genoa to Rome. It said a thousand miles and four, 14 hours, Rome to Calais, yes. with toll roads. 24 hours with Rome to Calais without toll roads. And then we started to look at the printed map to try to see uh, what the situation with toll roads was and see what. There are A roads, single track roads, and so occasional double, double dual carriage roads which are not toll roads, but if you look at the map, you can see the blue roads are toll free, red roads are toll free, Switzerland down. So, Coupling that with the fact that we spent 150 euros on fuel getting here. So that's 150 to 700 miles. So it's twice that to get back for Rome. Adding on top of that, toll charges, it's going to cost like. It's going to cost 500 quid to get back from Rome. Which is more than we'd thought. We knew it would be a long way to get back from Rome, um, but for some reason this flash is, so, is just less, much less efficient. The conversation goes on for another 20 minutes. In short, because this year's motorhome is less fuel efficient, coupled with the fact that the toll roads were killing us, we decided to change our plans. No one was happy with admitting defeat, but we had to come up with a new idea. Now instead of driving to Genoa and Rome, we decided to head north, first to Basel, and then on to Strasbourg, heading west to Paris, and then finally back to Britain.